Hello everyone, today's video is a quick update on the state pension changes that kick in from uh, this week. New tax year, of course, starts on the 6th of April. So the full state pension is increasing by 2.5% and it will be £179.60 a week. Um, however, the Office of um, budget responsibility, the OBR, which is the, the think tank, if you will, that, that sort of vets the government's uh, figures and, and um, you know, checks their numbers. Um, they believe that this time next year, the increase in the state pension will be 4.6%. So why is that? Well, remember how this state pension is calculated. It's on the so-called triple lock, which means that it goes up each year by the highest of three different things. Number one is 2.5% flat rate. Number two is inflation. And number three is average uh, wage increases. Okay. Um, so those three parameters. Now, for the year just starting, the highest of those three parameters, uh, three those three indicators was 2.5%. So inflation was less than that. Wage inflation, if you will, was less than that. So pensioners get the 2.5%. But the OBR, this government um, set up think, independent think tank, they think that of those three things next year, uh, the highest one will be the wage uh, inflation. So earnings will increase by 4.6%. So uh, if, if that's the higher of the three, then that's what the state pension will go up by. So that would be a big jump, 4.6%. That would take uh, the weekly state pension to £188 a week, which works out at about £9,800 a year. So it is, it's worth quite a bit, is the state pension. Uh, it's a good news for pensioners um, that it's that it's going to increase. And not only is it going to increase, but it's going to increase um, in all likelihood by quite a large amount this time next year, 4.6%. But anyway, for this year, more immediately, going up 2.5% from next week. So that's uh, just a quick um, a quick update on uh, the state pension and the increases thereon. Now, remember, I've done a separate video on how to qualify for the full state pension, the, um, the so-called 35 qualifying years, and what you can do to check to see if you have those years, what your shortfall is, what you can do about it if you do have a shortfall. But that's on a separate uh, video. But listen, if you like this video, please do subscribe right there. And as always, I will see you soon.